Okay, so we're off to um, potions now. Yes, yeah, potions. Ah, wow, I couldn't actually remember. That's quite embarrassing. Uh, -do -do -do. There's one waiting for us patiently. Oh, it's not one, it's a miney. Same sort of thing, they're both just a character that follows you and doesn't do anything that helps you at all. I expect you to open doors for them. Bitches. Anyway. So yeah, as I said in the last part, hope hope we've got all the ingredients, because otherwise we've got to go get them all now. You can't get into the class unless you've got them. Which is a major inconvenience, but uh that's the way it goes. I can't believe there was a troll in the school. Neither can I. And I killed it all by myself. Or I'd rather not tell. And what the hell am I doing? I actually bugger. <laughs> For some reason I thought that we'd already had potions. My bad. I'm not really in the zone today. <laughs> uh, slightly tired. You know, that sort of shizzle. Uh do we do. Had quite a long shift at McDonald's. Actually no it wasn't. It was only six hours and a break, but that's longer so far. And oh my god, Hermione's gliding across the floor. That's just so awesome. Wish I could do that. I'd be like, Wee I'm flying on the floor. It's great. In we go. Come on, Harry. Hurry up. Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid idiot. Yeah, I totally owned him. That insults. You have collected all the required ingredients for the Wiganweld potion. Obvio. The Wiganweld potion you is in the large head man. cauldron over there. The purple one. You can fill your potion vial when required. It's purple. Potter. Where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? Up your ass. I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? <laughs> For your it. information, Spoils. Potter, a bazaar is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poison. Ah, oh, of course. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson. Why didn't I think of that? The antidote for common poisons. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Flubberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moon dew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. Yeah! That's what the red cauldron's for. And actually, it's absolutely useless to that stuff, seriously, because like, you can use it like once against um, the devil's snare um, when you go to find the stone. And yeah, that's basically it, so it's really useless. Whereas with Wild Potion, that actually is pretty snazzy. You can use it quite a few times, especially on the boss levels. Why should I say that? There aren't many boss levels you can really use it on. I mean, the Dipper Troll is fine. Maybe actually no, the Venomous Tentacle they definitely need it for. Level Snare, I suppose. Uh, Gold, no, what else? Quirrell, of course. Yeah, that's basically it. Meh. I think it's a Borgy now. Yeah, it is. I know that. It's a Bology next, Harry. A Bology Greenhouse 1 is outside in the grounds. Yeah! And for some reason, of course, back then we watched that stupid cutscene. Utterly pointless, in my opinion. I oh, know Hermione. Well, she magically gets to herself. She's just so clever. Oh, she's already there. Oh, it's not her. My bad. <laughs> I beat you, Ron. Uh, you snooze, you lose. Simple as biatch. Uh, boo, so herbology. Actually, pretty good spell challenge. In fact, most of them are. They, they all are, but they have like a little annoying bits. And it's this way. I'm really in the mood for milk chocolate digestive. Mmm, but I know that I shouldn't because otherwise I'm gonna put on weight. I've already had like I've had one already. And I'm thinking, mmm, should I treat myself and have another one? I'm just like, no, that'd be silly. Oh my god, it's the invisible wall. It's the most annoying thing in the gaming world. And there's loads of them, especially in this bit of Hogwarts. In the Chamber of Secrets version, it's great, you can simply just run along that ledge, and when you get to that point, how will fall down, it's you'll watch him suffer. It's just awesome, really. <laughs> Watching people die and suffer. Yeah, I like, I like that sort of thing. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, it's a game. And now there's an invisible wall! What are you doing? There's nothing there! 
Anyway, you're probably wondering why we're going down here, and it's to get this. The Dragonhide gloves. For the notice board. Dragonhide gloves. Just what I was looking for. And unfortunately, he can't go and play in the water. Hey, my get his trousers wet. And his lovely black shoes. The only annoying thing is now that we've got to go up to a uh, back up to Herbology. Obviously, one's beating us. But meh, at least we'll feel happy. <laughs> That leads down there to the um, Quidditch pitch, if you were wondering. Uh, that sort of mini turret thing up in the distance, uh, we never use it. And I think it's meant to be like um, the bit where you go down to uh, the train station. But of course, I never use it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pointless. Utterly pointless. And that's Hagrid's hut. That's awesome, you know that already. And there's the greenhouses in the Waldorf area. I don't know one. Come <gasps> on, Harry. Professor Sprout's he waiting for us inside. I've heard we have to watch out for the venomous tentacular. Ugh. <laughs> He's like venomous tentacular. Ugh. It's only a plant one. Man up. Biatch. I've said Biatch like twice now, like a while. That's quite disturbing. Using those sort of words. <laughs> Here we go then. Today's lesson will involve learning how to cast a severing charm. The proper incantation for this charm is Defindo. Ooh! You will see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Defindo challenge. Oh, such Mr. variety. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. Heard this a billion times the before. The spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you have managed to collect it, the Defindo charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? The only annoying thing is that it's like every other lesson that we have is a pop and potions is basically doing this. Maybe they can, I don't know, make some books fly away like, like, like they do in the Prison of Azkaban. That's always pretty cool, I think. But anyway, here we go. I think we can get nine first time round mine channel shields. Can't actually remember. But oh well. I'm sure we'll get as many as we can. Blimey, the air is massive. There should be a fun couple of parts.